So mental health is um, being, being strong in mind, being able to deal with adversity, that when life kicks you, um, you can bounce back and that it doesn't put you down. Being mentally healthy helps me at school so I can get on with my day and be confident in what I'm doing and give it a go. Being mentally healthy is knowing when you don't have to hold all your sadness and emotions inside and you can just let it out. Yeah, is that right? <laughs> Good mental health is really about understanding yourself, being able to know how you're feeling, respond appropriately to those feelings, form relationships and friendships and be able to cope with, with life and, and the challenges that sometimes come our way. Barge into a game. Ooh, barge into a game, okay. What else? Good mental health for children is, is really very important and we know that it, it's closely related to their learning and educational outcomes. Kidsmate is the first national mental health and wellbeing initiative that was developed for Australian primary schools and it works with all of the people in the school community and that includes parents and carers to really support children's mental health and wellbeing. Family is a very important part of children's lives and they're a significant influence for children's mental health and wellbeing and schools and families share a very common goal in, in wanting children to be healthy and happy. You just want the very best for your child. You want your child to be uh, socially, emotionally stable and strong and you want your child to have friends and you, you want your child to get along and to just function uh, in society the best that they possibly can. Kids Matter Schools work through four areas that are related to children's mental health and wellbeing and we call those components and families have a very important role in working with schools on each of those components. We commissioned a consultant to look at the school through the eyes of a visitor or a parent and she put together a survey directed at our families asking specific questions that were relevant to the people and families in Faulkner. The main reason for doing the survey was to um, make parents feel that they are part of the community um, so that they are included and that, that the school really um, values their opinions and really wants to get to know them. Just a very, very welcoming atmosphere. You, it's just resonant through the walls. It's just in the teachers. It's just the way that you're greeted from the moment that you step through the door. Um, there's just, you're welcome here. Next one, don't suggest that the winner cheated or had an unfair advantage. The skills that the children are learning in, in the cell lessons are really important because they can apply them in the classroom and that makes for a happier classroom, happier interactions with each other and lots less problems to deal with, with. and you can just then get on with the other things that you need to teach and that's what we're here for, to teach the kids to read and write, do their maths and be happy and adjusted children. Sometimes when we lose, it does make us feel sad, doesn't it? We embedded social emotional learning into our school by being consciously aware of it at every level. We ran workshops for parents as well, because you cannot uh, feel like you're teaching and reaching to the heart of children without their parents feeling confident and having a partnership with you in that regard. It's not really reachable. When schools reach component three, they're really building on the work that they started back in component one. And they're really focusing on the relationship that school staff are building with families. They're looking at what they can do to support families with their important role of parenting. So that can be information and resources about children's mental health, about children's behaviour, children's wellbeing. And, and to know that I can come to the school and speak to them about things other than just academics, it's amazing. Yeah. I come to school, you know, four days, Monday, you know, Monday to Thursdays. I've got four grandchildren at the school, and I just love being with my grandkids. And it just shows in the school with my spirit and my, my um, I don't know, helping anybody. That's me. Schools can also be places where parents get together and, and support each other. And that, that sense of support that parents get for each other is also really important for their own well-being and flows on to benefit children's mental health and well-being as well. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. 
most parents throughout the primary school years will have some concerns about their, their children, their child's behaviour, their coping with what's going on at school or at home, socialising with their friends. And so we really want to encourage parents and carers to access some support and information as early as possible. And Kids Matter schools who are working through Component 4 are really well placed to be able to provide information and support to, to parents. So involving the parents with students experiencing mental health difficulties has been something that I found really important in the classroom because often the parents would have experienced this at home and not really known where to turn and when you start talking about it with them, involving them in classroom programs, bringing them on excursions, doing things like that, it's making the child feel more comfortable at school, it's giving the parents and the child access to things in the community that they might not have been aware was available to them and it's also helping the school better understand the child and where the child's coming from by getting that background information. We've now got parents coming into the school uh, again. You know, we parents didn't want to come into the school. Uh, school was for the children, it wasn't for them. We've got parents coming in now doing cooking, um, doing an exercise class. Uh, you know, they're here at the school in the garden, the chickens, all of that. As a parent at a kids' matter school, uh, I feel really welcome in the school. The teachers are really approachable and there's a lot of parents around who um, you can form relationships with. Uh, because the school is so welcoming, uh, parents do feel comfortable coming into the school and interacting with the teachers and other children as well. Like out of all the seven schools I've been to, I think this one's my favourite one because like not only did it include me, but it included my mum as well. And I think that's really important to me because like I really love my mum. Mum can't really come down during school time because I've got six children in the family, so that makes it quite hard for her. But when she does get a chance to come down, she will and she'll have a nice talk with my teacher. And that makes me feel good because they're getting along and they might, have a, they might have a chat about me. So what I do is I just hope that it's good.